How can something this big be invisible? The ozone is everywhere, and yet it isn't visible. Maybe if we saw it, we would see it's not invincible and have to take responsibility as individuals. How can something this big be invisible? If it's all around us, it should show itself on pure principle. The scientists are claiming that the damage is residual and climate change data is reaching levels that are critical, yet somehow that's political. We argue over math. Our citizens are too cynical to believe in facts. We make excuses and hold on to the recent past. We don't want to sacrifice, so we refuse to ask. I grew up in a city. It's all I ever knew. So even now, I have nothing to compare it to. I have to hit the park to see more than a tree or two. I have to visit nature like it's in a freaking zoo. But California was wild before the parking lots, before the mass malls, before designer shops, before the strip clubs, before the sea change, when mountain lions roam freely over freeways, before the fast food, before the freeze frames. We live around a bunch of dead things these days. It's not an argument for better or worse. It's an observation on how we've been treating Mother Earth. And we always seem to mistreat the ones we love first. But if aliens arrive, we'll be human beings first, and then we'll do anything to defend our home turf. We would fight to the death for the planet that we hurt. See, we protect what is ours. My land, my life, my house, my kids, my job, my wife, my dog, my car, my country, my culture. But when it comes to nature, our perspective is external. The planet, the forest, the ocean, the skies, the mountains, the valleys, always the. Never mind if it's not me, never mind I'm too busy all the time. And without the ownership, we ignore the warning signs. Just look at all the species on the planet that are dying. The coral reefs, the honey bees, mysteriously die. One fourth of all the mammals that exist are dying. A third of all amphibians are at the risk of dying. We're on a path to mass extinction. It's almost like we're trying, because we're relying on an atmosphere that we've been frying. I could use more statistics, but you'd probably think I'm lying, because over half the politicians we elect deny them. Well, since when did your opinions outweigh the science? I thought experiments were fundamentally unbiased. Capitalism uses nature as its example and excuse for competition. The only problem is we've removed it from the ecosystem. Profit and balance in the market are attainable, but growth without a conscience is completely unsustainable. A lion doesn't kill all the gazelles. Why do we have to have it all to ourselves? Pretty soon, there'll be nothing left but concrete and cars, and when you see an animal, it'll be like a movie star. The planet, the forest, the ocean, the skies, the mountains, the valleys, always the. Never mind if it's not me, never mind, I'm too busy all the time. And without the ownership, we ignore the warning signs. Our planet, our forest, our ocean, our skies, our mountains, our valleys, always we. Always mine, my planet, my forest, my ocean, my skies, my mountains, my valleys, always we. Always mine, always me, always yours. One little dot in trillions of stars. One little dot, it's all that we've got. We just forgot that none of it's ours. We just forgot that all of it's ours. One little dot, trillions of stars.